For the past few days I've been working on a completely automatic golem farm and I'm excited to tell you all about it. The summoning item for golem is easily farmable and his AI is very predictable, which makes him an easy target for AFK farming. Well then, let's take a look at the farm. Ta-da! This is it. What? You expected something more? Okay. I'll be honest with you. The automatization isn't happening in Terraria. It's happening outside of the game. Meet the star of the show. This is an Arduino Pro Micro. It's a microcontroller capable of emulating keyboard and mouse inputs. The microcontroller basically waits for a user input, in other words, a button press. Then it performs a series of instructions. Specifically, moves the mouse on the lizard altar, right clicks, starts swinging currently equipped weapon and presses spacebar to fly up. Then it right clicks the rail to get in the minecart. After that it clicks the switch on the wall to deactivate this block next to the lizard altar. This step probably isn't necessary but sometimes the block messes with the golem. Then it swaps off the wings to the charm of mists for better life regen and shorter potion cooldown. After that it starts moving the minecart right until the speed is exactly 49 miles per hour. Then it starts smoothly moving the mouse left and right to hit the golem more accurately. When the golem is defeated it stops the minecart and jumps down to the floor where after waiting for the conveyor belt to move me back to the beginning swaps to shiny stone to regenerate any missing health, then swaps back to the brain of confusion and wings. That's the entire loop the Arduino does, and as you can see, it's pretty reliable. I farmed 25 golems in a row like this. It's a pretty easy circuit to build, but if you're interested, the circuit is literally just a button connected to the Arduino, and as for the code, I'll show it at the end of the video. Now that we've got Arduino out of the way, let's take a look at the arena itself. It's 86 blocks wide, 50 blocks high, and the rail is 17 blocks away from the top. Also there is a block near the altar, I use it to correctly align myself between each loop. I deactivate it with the switch above the rail. It's really important to keep the ceiling only one block high, so the golem's head can clip through it. That way you don't have to worry about the flaming balls it's spitting. With that said, thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more and see you next time.